Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Katie. If it's your first time stopping by, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I love sharing homemaking and lifestyle motivation here on my channel. So if you guys enjoy that, make sure you subscribe and like this video today. I would so appreciate it. I did want to give you all a quick glimpse into what we're going to be covering in this video. And my home usually doesn't get this out of control, but we are on summer break. I have two boys and we have been having sleepovers with their cousins. So I had a house full of kids, which I'm here for it. I am not complaining. I actually had all the kids downstairs building a huge fort while I went ahead and tackled this disaster zone up here upstairs. We had pulled off the boys mattresses and set up a huge sleepover in the loft and set them up with blankets, movie, popcorn, all the fun things there last night. But it's a new day. Everyone was fed breakfast, has a snack and is now fort building. So it's time for me to tackle this huge mess. If I had an option to be someone else, I would and like all of you. First things first, I have to get these mattresses put back on the beds because you can't even walk in this playroom with these mattresses here on the floor. So I'm going to go ahead and strip all of these sheets off of the beds that all the kids slept on last night and put them to the side so I can get them washed and fresh for when my boys go to bed tonight. Their mattresses can be back in their rooms and have nice, clean, fresh sheets. So I'm going to go ahead and start in this room. That way I can get all these sheets washing as I'm cleaning everything else up here. Now, I usually would have my kids pitch in and help, so I don't want you guys to think that I'm just coming in here and I clean up after my kids all the time. You guys actually rarely see these spaces because my kids are usually in charge of cleaning these areas. So ever since I did these bedroom makeovers, the loft makeover, and the boys' bathroom makeover videos, I haven't really shown these spaces because my kids, I tell them to clean their rooms, put away their laundry, clean their bathroom, and clean the loft area. So I'm not usually filming in here because I have them take care of it, but their cousins are over. I'm helping out some family. So they are actually helping me out by entertaining my younger nephew and just making sure that they're kind of keeping their cousins busy and occupied so I can come up here and just get this area done. And to be honest, when things are this out of control, I kind of like to take the reins and take it into my own hands. Um, and just get it done and I don't have to fuss with kids getting distracted and seeing a toy instead of putting it away they start playing with it so it honestly was just way easier and faster for me to come in here and get this done that and I am filming this is my job and I don't really want to have my kids and my nieces and nephews and all that on camera so that's another reason I just came in here and got it done but i was kind of in the mood to clean today anyway so i really didn't mind i just kind of got in the zone and got it done quick minute to thank today's sponsor and that is BetterHelp. So thank you so much to BetterHelp for reaching out and coming together with me on this video. I feel like mental health is so important and that is such a big reason why I work so hard in my home just to make sure that I have a nice quaint space for me to come in and just decompress from the stresses of life. 
And I feel like even taking one step further past that is being able to find a therapist that I am comfortable with, but I don't always have the time to go out of the house to meet with therapists. So being able to have access to a therapist online on my phone, on my computer is a huge plus for me. Regardless if you have a clinical health issue like depression or anxiety, or maybe you're just someone that is just going through the motions of life and you just need a little bit of extra help, that is where BetterHelp can step in and help you. And that's one of the reasons I'm so excited to share BetterHelp with you today. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. And this is an important mission because finding a therapist can be really hard, especially when you're limited to the options in your area. But the BetterHelp platform helps making finding a therapist easier because it's online, it's remote, and by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist in as little of a few days. If you are struggling, consider online therapy like BetterHelp. I will have a link right below in my description box if you want to click on that. They were also so generous to extend a promotion code to you all, and I believe that is 10% off. So make sure you check that description box down below. I'll even put a link there in my pinned comments if you want to check out BetterHelp for yourself. I will say the largest thing on my to-do list today was getting these mattresses put back. Unfortunately, my husband worked late the night that I set this up and he had to be at work early the morning to put all these away. So I was kind of giggling to myself and last night the kids were all laughing at me because moving around a queen mattress by yourself is not the easiest task but i did get it done and i was up for the challenge and i was really proud of myself that i got both of these queen mattresses put back on the boys beds all by myself and it just makes you feel like i don't know very accomplished and strong um but mattresses are always super awkward and i knew if i got these mattresses up off the floor and put back away um, in their proper place that alone will open up the loft playroom area and I can really just focus in and get that area finished so I can move on to the next. It felt kind of nice knowing that the mattresses were out of here. I was able to organize under the beds, get a good vacuum in, dust off the beds, and then I could bring the mattresses back in. That way it wasn't as awkward to tidy up under the beds because the mattresses weren't on there. So you guys saw me tidy up, kind of pull things out that didn't belong, dust off the beds, all the sheets are being washed, and I'm giving everything a good vacuum. So it was almost like a nice little going into the weekend reset.
what are you all working on today? Are you guys cleaning along with me or maybe you just enjoy watching these style videos? I love putting on these types of videos for both. One, if I'm maybe kind of feeling unmotivated and putting these on just helps me wanna get up and get things done around the house because let's be honest, there's always something to do. There's usually a load of laundry somewhere or a dish somewhere or something that needs to be picked up. There's just always something to do around the house. So a lot of times I love to throw on these videos for motivation or even just to get motivated. This is my full-time job is YouTube and sometimes I just kind of like hit a wall and I love putting on these videos and it makes me just want to like jump up and get to work. So I hope that's what this video is doing for you today. But let me know, are you guys up cleaning with me or are you just enjoying and watching today? The one area I didn't get to in here in the makeover was this faux fireplace. I would love to take this out and replace it with something more storage friendly, maybe something with doors or drawers on it um, because we don't need a faux fireplace. I, we actually moved this in here from our last house. We already owned it. So, I mean, even though it has shelving and we can put all the gaming consoles and the games in here, um, my kids don't really like need the faux fireplace. I'd rather take out the fireplace and have more storage solutions, be able to put toys and movies and baskets. So I am taking, or I'm keeping my eye on Facebook Marketplace and Home Goods to see if I can find the perfect piece to put here. And I think that would just be the perfect finishing touch in this room. This first room is done and it feels so much better. Can you believe the before and this after? It's like a totally different space. And to be honest, even though I cleaned four hours this day, it really did go by pretty quickly. Um, and I think that's just because I have everything kind of narrowed down to where everything has a place. And so I wasn't like moving things around 10 times until I found somewhere to put it. I was able to just put that thing where it belonged and then was able to actually move on to the next space. So um, the boy sheets are in the washer. So we're pretty much done in their rooms. We got everything wiped down, um, the pillows and blankets all folded, stuffed animals put back where they needed to be. So at the end of the day, the boys were able to put their sheets on and make their beds up. Um, but this area right here is the first thing that you see when you come to the top of the stairs, which Probably in my next video or two, we are making over this space next because I am going to be homeschooling my kids this next school year. So we need to come in and do a total do over right here. That way we can make sure this space functions best for us. So make sure you guys subscribe and stick around for that. It's been really fun being able to really focus and break down my house room by room and make sure that it looks good, feels good, and it functions best for our family. My head tells me to stop, but there is nothing I can do. When I'm with you, I lose myself. I feel good.
So I'm kind of filming two videos at once. You guys are kind of getting a sneak peek into things, but this is the butcher block desktop that we actually set up during virtual learning when everything was shut down. And as you can see, my kids have absolutely destroyed this. So I have everything that I need to sand this down, restain it, seal it. We're gonna put desk mats down. We're getting computers, printers. We're redecorating in here, moving things around. We're, we're doing it all. So that should be in the next video or two. I'm actually starting the sanding on that desktop today and hoping to stain it tonight and seal it tomorrow. Um, and then I can get that space um, all finished. That way I can get it edited and live for you. Let me know if that's something that you guys would be interesting, interested in watching. Anytime I entertain, I always make sure I have nice clean bathrooms for my guests when they get here. And then I always clean them after they leave as well. Just, we entertain a lot and we have a lot of people coming in and out. So I wanna make sure they have a nice clean space to use the restroom. And then of course, after we entertain, things can get messy. So then I come in here again. So that's what I'm doing. My boys actually cleaned this bathroom a couple days ago. And now that our guests are going to be leaving, now mom's gonna come in here and do a nice deep clean, wipe everything down. We're gonna do a good scrub on the toilet and even mop the floors. I think I need to put together a marathon video because over the last probably two or three months, we have made over so many rooms in this house and one of those spaces was this bathroom and I came in and painted this vanity and added new hardware. We did everything in here and I love how it came out. An update on the paint on the vanity, it is doing awesome. There is not even a chip in the paint. Um, but if you guys are new here, I think maybe putting everything in one spot. Um, I did a makeover from everything, carpet, baseboards, furniture, beds, mattresses, decorating, everything was new in their rooms. So we did both their rooms, this bathroom and their loft playroom area. So maybe I'll put together a marathon video so all of those makeovers can be in one space. I know I got some trouble getting over you. I think that I have played my part. I need to get away somewhere far from you. I'm a buy, I'm a buy plane ticket. Run away by myself for a minute. I don't have, I don't have any limits. Ooh, ooh. I'm looking for a place where I can't feel alive. Another room down and clean so this upstairs is really starting to come together the main area with the desk and the loft play area is looking nice it's smelling nice both the boys rooms are done with the exception of their sheets and their blankets and then this bathroom is nice and scrubbed clean the only other area up here to really finish off the whole upstairs would be my bedroom so i figured why stop here so i'm going to give you guys a nice overview since you saw the before i'm going to show you guys the after everything just looks 100 times better and then we're going to jump over to my room which is just to the right here to the loft and then we're going to start digging in and doing a lot of cleaning in there I'm gonna show you guys my closet. Do not judge me, it's pretty bad, but it is a small space. And to be honest, I usually put my space last in the house to keep everything else together. 
but today is the day I'm gonna go in there and tidy up, get organized, and get everything nice and clean and organized. I actually don't show my closet all that often, mostly because there's not a whole lot to show. This is it. This is my walk-in closet, and I did not buy this house for the closets or the master bedroom. I'll tell you that much. This house did check a lot of our boxes, and it looked nothing like this when we moved in. We kind of took it on as a project, and like maybe a 10-year plan. We've been here about five and a half years. And so we know it's not our forever home and it actually does function really well for us. And like I said, checked a lot of our boxes. So I really can't complain. This has been a really good house to us, but I will say my next house is gonna have a nice big closet, a nice big bathroom and a nice big master bedroom. long-term goal for this closet would to be a nice built out closet like maybe have California closets or Ikea or something like that come in because right now I just kind of have my own makeshift shelving in here I got this from Target and it's nice because it gives me let's see I think like eight cubes in here to store my stuff so so I need to organize all of my pants and all of my shorts I've kind of just been shoving things in here we just got back from Cabo San Lucas not all that long ago so I had a week's worth of laundry for a family of four and I was just kind of like turning and burning laundry and just doing the best I can to keep up with it all so it was important to me to come in because this is such a small space to just keep everything organized otherwise it can get very overwhelming my shoes alone just on the floor take up a lot of the floor space and I feel like I couldn't even walk in here so I wanted to sort and organize. It really only took a few minutes. So if you guys are feeling overwhelmed by a closet in your home, um, just take a few minutes and go in there. I was able to donate a whole bag of stuff. I even trashed a couple things and then I just went ahead and organized and folded what was left. Yet again, another space checked off my list. I'm feeling really good. Usually I feel like I'd be kind of pooping out and getting burned out by now, but I don't know what it was. I wasn't even hopped up on coffee or an energy drink or nothing. I figured I would just be thanking my future health 
my future self just to push through and get it done. And then I can have the whole upstairs finished and clean. So I'm going to push forward and get this huge stack of laundry. I wasn't kidding when I said that I was overwhelmed by laundry from our vacation. All this is clean and dried and I even had it laid out and sorted. I just had to get it on hangers and hung in the closet. So we're going to speed this up big time and get through this huge pile. So if you have laundry sitting somewhere in your house, grab that laundry basket and let's knock it out together. While I was at it with this dresser, I wanted to go through this drawer. It has a lot of my leggings and my skirts in it. And I had a lot of leggings in here that I just wasn't wearing anymore. I have just become obsessed with my Lululemon um, leggings and it's all I wear now. And I was hanging onto those other leggings thinking, well, maybe I'll still wear them. What if my Lululemons are dirty? That means I still have another pair of leggings to wear. But I worked up a nice little collection of my favorite leggings. They're the Align ones by Lululemon. Oh, they're so good, worth every penny, by the way. Um, and so I was able to actually donate a bunch of stuff, which felt really, really nice. And then I was able to make more room in this little drawer. I've been going crazy, I don't know what to do My heart is screaming for you, babe And what I'm trying to say is that you make the sky look blue Even when it is gray, babe Every time I'm feeling down, you can make it go away Your light is shining bright on me Got no reason to be afraid the main bedroom space is finished. It felt good to get all that laundry that has been staring at me all put away where it needed to be. Got everything vacuumed. I even went through the drawer that I use the most in my dresser. It has like all my leggings and some of my skirts and stuff in there. And I showed you guys a whole pile of things that I was able to donate and make more space for things that I actually wear and use. So that felt really good. And so now I'm able to move over to my bathroom. And this is literally the last space in my whole upstairs. You guys have seen it all today that we need to clean to be able to just kind of have a whole home reset up here. Now, I didn't do this all at once. I did have to stop to feed the kids lunch and check on the kids and entertain them. So I definitely didn't knock this out all in one sitting. You guys don't see the stop and go, stop and go. So I don't want you to feel like I cannot do this. This isn't relatable. I did get this all done in one day. So I didn't get it all done, you know, just being able to not stop and work all the way through. I did have to stop and take care of kids. But I am proud to say that I did get this all filmed in one day, which is pretty good for me.
I did it you guys and you can too if you guys have a ton to do around your home and maybe it feels very overwhelming, you're stressed out, it gives you anxiety and you just say I can't handle it, I'll do it later, you can do it. Get up even if it's just a couple of things. I did not think I was going to tackle the whole upstairs of my house today and I just kind of just kept going and I was just riding that adrenaline of the reward that it just makes me feel after getting this stuff done and I know that I can sit down this weekend and relax so hope you guys were able to get up and get things done if not hopefully this motivated you to start checking things off your list and thank you for hanging out with me today also do not forget to check out better help I will have a link down below in the description box for you all and other than that friends I'll see you in the next one bye I, I wish you could